Hello, beautiful people. I am here with a very, hopefully very short video and follow up to the cosmic climate. What I spoke about in the cosmic climate in regards to the Gemini full moon was that I received in contemplation of the energy of this week, I received this visual of a shattered mirror. And the mirror is significant because with that new moon in Scorpio, that was the oracle message that came forth was mirror magic. And I felt very, I mean, it resonated very deeply. Some of you shared that that resonated, whether you were doing mirror magic around that time or just wanting to look deeper within yourself and do the shadow work. That was definitely very um, resonant at the beginning of this, this lunar cycle. And so with the... Gemini full moon, I got the visual of the shattered mirror. And by seeing the shattered mirror, what I felt for, um, you know, the collective and what we might experience is that looking at this shattered glass or even in this experience, right, of this full moon Gemini. So we think about all these different details, all these different narratives, ideas, thoughts. It's, it can be kind of chaotic, especially with the full moon, because there's a, a full emotional you know, experience to, to that as well. So we have the mind and, and the heart or the mind and the thoughts and the emotions really kind of just amplified, right? Of like, who's going to take over? Who's going to, you know, win, you know, at the end of the day, right? Who's the strongest? Who's the most powerful? At least <laughs> that's what I was feeling in my experience. And so with these fragmented pieces, these little parts, these little reflections, these are all fragmented aspects of ourselves. And by really looking at these different reflections in these fragmented aspects of ourselves, we are able to, at some point, we will receive that missing link, the missing puzzle or the piece of it that can bring it all back in together at, and into wholeness, right? And, you know, if you ever fix a broken mirror or try to fix a broken mirror, it's never the same again. And so through my experience of, of what I'm going to share here, because I received my aha moment and that missing link last night, through that experience of the observation and the receiving of the missing link or the missing puzzle piece, essentially we're going to be tossing the whole entire mirror. It's like, okay, I see, I see what was missing. And now from that perspective, I'm looking in a, in the mirror of a whole, it's like a whole new mirror, like a whole new reflection. Right. And it takes some time to get from that fragmented pieces and trying to fix them all together and glue them, glue them together and hope that it looks good. And that, you know, and so that experience from, from that point, to going to the point of just seeing a reflection and being able to accept that maybe there's a whole new you, maybe there's a whole new perspective, a whole new reality that you are really being guided to as you receive that missing link, that understanding. I also spoke about in the cosmic climate of releasing, like offering up something. Like if we, you know, as we are in this, moon cycle of letting go of the waning aspect of the cycle. That's part of the cycle where it's waning, where it's releasing, right? We are invited to release our, whatever we desire to release, right? Our emotional, uh, really our emotional attachment. And so in order to come into union, we got to create space. And the way to create space, of course, is letting go. That's a part of the cycle in general is the, the taking in and the letting go, that, that true energy exchange. And so what I mentioned is offering up whatever it is that you're, you desire to let go of, like literally making an act to consistently offer it up. So the divine, your spirit guide, your ancestors, the universe may take that from you. They're not gonna just take it from you if you don't, you know, if you're not ready to let it go, if you're holding on to it, if you're keeping it close, they're just like, maybe there's something more that you need to learn, you know, maybe it's, it's helping you feel safe at this time. Right. And when you're ready to let it go, you'll let it go. We're not here to force anything. Yesterday, after I recorded Cosmic Climate, I went and ran some errands. Actually, I'm so excited. I got uh, the paperwork 
the legal paperwork to change my name legally, um, which is a whole story I'll share. But some of you that follow me on Instagram or have been watching my videos here know that I've been going through this whole journey and experience of embodying of embodying my divine self. And through dream work, through rituals, I came to the realization and the confidence and the inspired action to legally change my name. Last name too, I'm doing it all, right? And so yesterday I went to the library to get my paperwork printed out and notarized. So that's done. Yes, I'm so excited. And so I was really in a high vibe yesterday. Not this thought or this inspiration to check out the live uh, this live stream of an astrologer um, later in the evening that was going to be talking about a lot of fortune and a lot of spirit. So long story short, I was able, he was also giving readings of like doing the, like looking, giving readings of people's fortune and spirit. And I didn't, like, I knew that, but I didn't really know. I, so I'm just curious to hear how he interpreted these, you know, these important points in the chart. And long story short, I ended up getting a reading. Um, I mean, it was like five, 10 minutes, but it was very um, insightful and very awakening. And so essentially my puzzle piece, the key points of the reading he mentioned was my one struggling with finances in the first third or the, the first third of my life. Hey, thanks. Um, and then he mentioned anxiety. He told me to be very careful about anxiety. I was like, oh shit. And then he mentioned this upcoming transit, which Jupiter will be in opposition to my, my lot of fortune, which is in Sag, right? Jupiter will be in Gemini. But after what was shared yesterday, I just had this really profound aha moment, realizing that my greatest emotional attachment is my anxiety and my narrative about it. So one of my friends, Mary, you've seen her on my, on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram account. She mentioned this to me. We were just talking a couple of days ago and she said it before, but she was mentioning how you can tell when someone's still healing with something or from something, right? They haven't gotten over it. There's still something there is when they continue to tell, especially it's the same story. So for me, my story with my anxiety is like, oh, I have like really bad anxiety or my anxiety is intense or I've always had anxiety and it's gotten worse. Like this whole story about my anxiety, this whole story about not, you know, about my fear of disease or, you know, which is a real fear, but the constant conversation about it or conversation in my mind is giving me the, the insight that, hey, there's still healing here. I'm still holding on to something. I don't feel safe. And the anxiety, the, the ability to like try to figure things out and to worry about it has been my safety net. And it now it's so uncomfortable and it's so I'm my soul is ready to release that, that it's, it's, it's time. Right. I, and I had that aha moment. I was like, this, in, this is an anxiety. When he mentioned that about the anxiety, I was, because honestly, I can see in the chart, maybe what he's re referring to, but because I know myself where the anxiety is in my chart, but it was just really it was just, it just caught me. I just needed to hear from someone else who had no, I like, he doesn't know who I am, you know, and he was just looking at my chart and he's a really good astrologer and he read me, but came forth. It's not going to be freaking easy. And I am ready and willing to do the work. I have been doing the work, but this is a bit different. And this brings me back to that reflection, that whole new mirror I am not trying to put all of these little fragmented pieces back together and glue them like nothing ever happened. I see that for what it is and I'm taking that and I'm creating a whole new reflection. Like maybe I'm melting it all down, whatever you do with, with glass, right? Heat it up, melt it down and creating a brand new, you know, mirror with it, with all of these pieces in its wholeness and blessing that mirror and cleansing it and, you know, really enjoying what I see in the mirror, because that's, that's another thing as well. It's like, do you even like your reflection? Do you like yourself? My mind is so mean. <laughs> like I was thinking about it last night. And then when I was in the shower, it just goes to the worst case scenario. And it, it it's like, I can't even believe that it will work out for me. Like my ego, my mind, 
It's just like, no, it's, it's gotta be this worst, worst thing. If you don't worry about the worst thing, then the worst thing's going to happen. So you got to worry about it, but then, you know, be careful. Don't worry about it too much because it might happen because you're worrying about it and you're focusing on it. So my mind is really, we're going to create a new narrative because I'm sick of talking about this. Um, so yeah, this is me and my realness and my truth. And so I would love to hear, you know, what is coming up for you, especially if you get your missing puzzle piece. So I would say in a nutshell, my missing puzzle piece was to offer up my anxiety, offer up my, this, it was the emotional, the awareness of the emotional attachment to my anxiety. So if you happen to receive that insight, that missing link, that missing puzzle piece, I would love to hear about that in the comments below. Please share this video. Please share Cosmic Climate too if you really enjoyed it. And I just look forward to the growth and hopefully um, I will share more on this over time. But thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to hearing from you again.